This video will show you how to use the Call for Fire tool with grid adjustment. Here I have a mission with an M109 Paladin self-propelled howitzer, an observer, and an enemy T90 tank. For purposes of this video, I have disarmed the T90 and forced it to remain stationary even after being shot. Now let's start the mission. To begin your Call for Fire, go to Entity Controls and choose Call for Fire under the 9-line drop-down tool. This will open the Call for Fire window. On the Call for Fire form, click on the binoculars, then move your cursor back to the mission area. Find the soldier's icon and click on it to designate the soldier as the observer in the scenario. Back on the Call for Fire form, click on the Artillery Piece button and choose the M109 to the south. Then click the Target button to select the target coordinates. You may click on a location on the ground or right on the entity itself. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose a spot just a little west of the T90. I'm going to shoot one round and I'll choose red phosphorus. The trajectory will be high for indirect fire. I have the control set to my command. Everything looks good, so I'll click on aim, then execute. You'll see the round leave the M109 and head downrange. The round has impacted west of the target. And now we're going to adjust the fire. My reference point is set to the observer to the target. So from the soldier's point of view, we will need to move the fire about 100 meters up. You can use the grid graphic or just type the adjustment like this. When done, click the Adjust button on the lower right. Check the rest of the settings, then click Aim. Notice the updates in the message field. When you're ready, click Execute. You'll see the rounds impact closer to the T90.